What's up guys, I'm Sensei Jim Rivera, I'm the head instructor of the Short Hills location. This is Sensei Julio de Mandingo RSA, he was going to be helping me today with practicing some do's and don'ts. At the same time, he's going to be doing some shit on me and we'll have some fun. Okay. We're going to be working ducking. On ducking, it's very important to create a good angle. Let me show you guys first it fast from a couple of different angles here. He swings at me, I'm going to duck right here, I'm going to come back, two, two. Again, he swings on that side, I'm ducking to that spot. He's swinging here, same thing, I'm ducking for you, right there. So again, this side, all right? I want you guys to see one more angle here, all right? Almost like you're playing a video game here. He swings, ducking, three, two. Swings this side here, three, two, okay? So, when we're ducking, all right, we want to make sure we get the right angle. I don't want to duck and be right in front of him still. See there, I can still get hit by his right hand. All right, if I was going the other way, the left hand. So I want to make sure I get the sweet spot. My sweet spot, if I'm facing Sensei Arce, is all the way over here where he can't hit me. He has to turn his whole body to hit me. That split second gives me a chance to counter. So when I'm ducking, always see your back side is going to be easiest. So if you're righty to your right side, lefty is on the left side. If he swings his pad at me here, I'm just going to step kind of like a V. I'm stepping both feet. As I'm stepping, I'm ducking, I'm bending my legs, and almost my body is going like a, a little U. Now I'm at the sweet spot here, so now he has to turn and face me, and I can throw my punches. If he doesn't have to take a step to turn, that means I didn't duck and get to that sweet spot. Think of when you're here, like a V formation, all right? Find V, my ducks, right there. All right, I wanna go to that right side. Again, my back side, my back foot, then my front foot here, and then I'm gonna count. On the front side, it's always a little tricky. What happens a lot of times when you first start out is that they throw this hand and people duck and now they're facing this way. Same thing goes to the back side. That's really easy to correct the back side right away. The front side is pretty tough in the beginning. So again, if I'm here, first thing is that my pad holder or my opponent's not in front of me. He's all the way off to the side. The second thing is I'm going to get hit. I'm still in front of him. I'm going to hit that sweet spot. I want right to be right here for that sweet spot. So. What's very important is when I take that front foot, I'm not going to step and point it to the wall there. When I step and go under his punch here, I'm going to step and make sure my foot is pointing towards him. The other thing I'm going to make sure to do is all my weights on that leg here. Now I have all my weight here. I can really rip that hook punch, put power behind it. So again, on the front side here, don't duck and just go right facing the wall. I want to hit that V. I want to duck. Make sure my front foot's towards it, and all my weight's on this leg. Now I'm going to spot where he has to turn to hit. Same thing on the back side. I'm going to hit that back side here. Same thing all my weight's on this leg. Make sure that person has to turn. If they don't have to turn, you didn't duck correctly, do it again. Hey, if you guys like it, please like it, subscribe. Don't forget to send me Jimmy Rivera Venmo. Got some uh, dog here, bro. Thank you. Appreciate it. This is my, my man right here. All right. All right.